Hi, I'm Dr. Cynthia Clark, acupuncture physician, applied clinical nutritionist, creator of Energy Evolution, and president of Longevity Wellness, and this new puppy mama. So I get the privilege of being Longevity Wellness's speaker to you today on the day of the winter solstice, and I'm super excited about that, both because of what this solstice is, and I'll talk more about that in just a moment, and because my birthday often falls on the winter solstice. This year, it's tomorrow, it's the 22nd, um, but I have a long and happy relationship with the winter solstice, and this year, we have this super cool Jupiter-Saturn conjunction. Uh, it is a time, and it's an unprecedented time that we have not seen for over 400 years, and it means that we're entering into the age of Aquarius, and that's a time of really big transformation. So um, let's talk a little bit more. First, I want to share with you one of my favorite quotes. It's one from Rumi, which is, your task is not for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you've built against it. So uh, during this time of year, it's, it's, it's often a busy time of year, and this is a really weird busy time of year. This is the time of year, this year, we have had fullness, activity, but we haven't had some of what brings us rejuvenation. We haven't had nearly as much connectivity as we often do during this time of year. Uh, we haven't had the family gatherings or the degree to which we usually do. So that means that often uh, that a lot of us are kind of in this place of like feeling a little, <sighs> even though we might not be as busy as we usually are, but we're busier without the renewal aspect of it. So um, I found this super great article on renewal, and I'm just going to straight up share this with you. From a supplement and nutrient perspective, consider renewal rituals. Uh, this is a time when you need your adrenal supplements. Don't be afraid to take them. Uh, when you need your, if you are a standard process client, then if you have uh, adrenotrophin, adrenamine, desiccated adrenal, or adrenal complex, those are all rocking formulas for you. If you are an essential then there is a an, an oil. Actually, the sacred oils is a, a group of oils that I love. And in that is one called Rose of Sharon. That is a beautiful transformational oil for this time and especially today. Um, and so so those are just a couple of the of the supplements. Um, if you don't have any of these things, a bit of licorice tea will help feed the adrenals if you can good with that kind of taste. Uh, but there is also a um, a great little acronym that I'm going to share with you. This is an article that was written by uh, Tom Wojcik, and it's Rituals for Renewal. And I love it when things come out into acronyms because they're easier to remember. So R, so this is, the acronym is Renewal, and the R is Reflect. Take time to just sit and process. So I have a great little ritual that I do every night. I sit and think about what was my favorite thing that happened today and what's the thing I'm most looking forward to about the about tomorrow. Um, if you have the time to just sit and let the memories come in, don't try to judge them or uh, to, you know, make up stories about them. Oh, well, I only said that because don't worry about it. Just just allow it to process. Um, this will also really improve sleep, by the way. And then second one for the E is exercise. So many of you know that I just completed Ironman Florida, and after that, there's this big rest phase, and in my phase was actually puppy preparation. So it was a different kind of rest. I highly encourage both the exercise and then the enjoying the rest phase that happens after that. But exercise every single day. Uh, take the stairs, depending on where your level is. Take a walk during lunch. Walking is like uh, Research shows over and over and over it is one of the best weight loss activities that you could do. It's crazy. It like trumps all these other things. It's bizarre. Um, take a walk. Uh, take the stairs. Do something that challenges you. Get some oxygen into your body and your brain. Okay, and make nutritious choices. I love, 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 love this. There's this crazy thing that happens during holiday time that goes, I'm super stressed out. I deserve a donut. <laughs> and the truth of the matter is that maybe you do deserve a little bit of an extra treat, but maybe like a fresh squeezed juice, um, a really nutritious meal. Like take yourself out to breakfast, but uh, consider that the treat that you deserve to be something that's really good for your body, not just your taste buds. 
E, the next E stands for engage with someone you care about every day. Do something that meaningly fulfills you. Uh, communicate in a way that meaningfully fulfills you. So whether this is um, calling a loved one and just saying hi, whatever it is, but engage with someone you care about every single day. <laughs> W is take time to experience some wackiness in your day. I really appreciate this because I'm a very curious, studious person. I have a lot of responsibility and I'm one of the silliest people that you've ever met <laughs> in my free time. So I think that there's, um, you know, wackiness is the play of life, but it's one of the most important things. If you are into this whole energy field and uh, the, the truth of strength of our energy really comes from the solar plexus, and the solar plexus is all about play. So uh, before we get too serious about ourselves, have some fun. Be silly, be wacky. The second A is for find a moment for appreciation, too. It has been one of my great honors this past month to be writing our letters of miracles for our newsletter, and it's it's just, I get to write my own, and I get to write our other practitioners, it's just an amazingly cool vibrational frequency to hang out in because the stories are about people who are incredibly grateful for their healing experiences. And I got to tell you, on the practitioner side, we are also incredible. We think it's a so um, find a moment for appreciation and just take time to be in that field. It's the best if you can write a quick little thank you to share it. Because then you're sharing that energy frequency and it's both stronger for you and helps somebody else. And then L is for let go. And that's actually the time that we're in for the solstice right now is this time of letting go and processing. Um, so there's some really great oils for that too. Um, Release by Young Living is a beautiful one. Frankincense, peppermint, all of these things are really, really, really great. Uh, and, 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 and just take a moment to reflect and appreciate today in the winter solstice. I hope this bit has been helpful to you. Look for more renewal videos for the rest of, the rest of our practitioners later this week and try and see our, our therapy puppy anytime. Mwah!